How's it going? Boys, we just got an absolutely juicy sneak on Davis of Creation. On Thursday, April 6th, 2023 at 7.46 p.m., one of the devs dropped this absolute gem for us. I'm a little bit overwhelmed due to the amount of things to talk about, so let's start with the new locations, since you're gonna wanna see this. But before we actually start, I would like to give a quick thank you to every single one of my members. Without these chads, I would not be able to do what I do today, so... Thank you, lads. First up, let's talk about the new cross-server market feature that was shown off. This is a market that players can sell and purchase weapons, armor, resources, consumables, pets, scrolls, tools, and many different items with gold. In this sneak, there were a lot of weapons and pets shown, but we'll talk about those a bit later. But with this feature, you'll be able to filter items by categories from price to other types. Personally, I think that in-game economies are really cool, and they can add a lot to the game's experience. So, this feature gets two thumbs up from me. Next up, we have a super close-up view of the inside of a giant tree village and the inside of the castle town. For the first time in these sneaks, we have a view of the inside of the castle town. Look at this, bro. Okay, chill. Salty? Chill. For real though, these houses look sick. And the modelers are doing a phenomenal job. Real quick, I do gotta say that the ground in the castle town looks like the ground used in the canals dungeon on Dungeon Quest. But anyways, the giant tree forest town also looks really good. The chasm really adds a lot to this town and makes the town look quite nice. But for the first time in a few sneaks, we got a new area. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Enchanted Forest. Inside of the Enchanted Forest, you can find a new mob and can immerse yourself in a magical location that has a blue color palette with browns from the trees and greens from bushes and shrubs. On top of that, there are particles that give it a whimsical feel and also flowers too, which that's nice. So what do you think? I'll be honest, I'm a little bit concerned about the optimization in this area since those particles will probably be a little bit of a resource hog. For comparison, Arcane Odyssey has some really bad optimization and it's not nearly as graphic heavy as what DLC is proposing to be. So devs, if you're watching, please add a bunch of options to make game run fast, please. Ooh -ooh. Okay, let's tackle the real elephant of the sneak, the pets and mounts. We'll cover the weapons in a future video. By the way, if you're enjoying the video then make sure to like it and also subscribe with notifications turned on for more thank you let's start with a recap from the last video the previous five pets and mounts we had revealed to us are the phoenix the hawk the reindeer the turtle and the slow boy i mean snail in this sneak we got to see one new model and we finally got in-game names for almost all of them but ladies and gentlemen let me introduce you to the shadow pouncer this is a ground mount that is just like the reindeer the example given is in this sneak is an epic tier shadow pouncer. There's probably gonna be multiple tiers, but anyways. In the sneak, the user purchased the shadow pouncer from the market for 30,500 gold. This mount is a giant cat-like creature with a major resemblance to the saber-toothed tiger, since it has long fangs coming out of the top jaw of the creature's mount. Yeah, come to think of it, is this just a saber-toothed tiger? You know what they say, if it runs like a saber-tooth and walks like one, it's probably a goat. Wait, that's not right. Sorry, I'm homeschooled. Anywho, this is all I have for the saber tooth. I mean shadow pouncer. Let's talk about those in-game names for the other creatures and check out those other pets names. In the market sneak, there was a list of names with icons that were shown. Among those, we got the names of all the previously sneaked pets. The hawk is called the undead eagle. The reindeer is called the enchanted deer. The turtle is literally just called the turtle mount. Very creative. The snail is called the toxic snail, and the phoenix is not a phoenix at all, but rather a pterodactyl. Amazing, right? As a disclaimer, these names are probably not final, but I'm going to refer to them with these names from here on out since they're better than the names I gave them. In the last video, we were teased on a sixth mount that we didn't get to see the model for, only the icon. In the sneak, we still didn't see the model, but we have a name for it. This little guy is called the wasp, no Ant-Man. Now, I'm not the smartest person Person ever. But if it be wasp, wasp go fly. So wasp fly mount monkey mode. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's like 3 a.m. and when I'm recording this. <laughs> now let's talk about the newest enemy that's been introduced. The Venomous Lash. This mob is a plant type enemy that shoots out venomous seeds and it does damage to any players it hits. In this sneak, the mob is level 38, which is a bit high. So if the leveling is final, then the Enchanted Forest is going to be a bit of a higher level area. On the topic of the previous video, if you haven't seen it yet, then make sure to go watch it by clicking on it right 
here. In that video, I talk a bit on how pets will work and also mounts as well. So go watch it right now. Thanks for watching.